Los Angeles County has entered low transmission risk of coronavirus under a key federal benchmark that by Friday will spur the lifting of most remaining indoor masking requirements in the region. After months of high transmission risk of the disease in the county, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention updated its weekly community-level benchmarks Thursday, moving the county into a new phase after weeks of falling disease rates. County Public Health Director Barbara Ferrer said the county will post a new health officer order today, to take effect on Friday, that will lift the county's long-standing rule requiring people to wear masks indoors no matter what their vaccination status. In effect, it aligns the county with the state, which on Tuesday dropped its own mask mandate. Up until last week, such a shift was not expected until the middle to end of this month. But the CDC zone criteria changed. Under the change, the CDC looks at the combination of three metrics, new COVID-19 admissions per 100, OOO population in the past seven days, the percent of staffed inpatient beds occupied by COVID-19 patients, and total new COVID-19 cases per 100, OOO population in the past seven days, to determine the CEO. The idea is that taken together, they represent a way to determine how much risk and spread the healthcare system can take in the event of a surge. Hospitalizations due to COVID-19 have fallen rapidly in recent weeks, falling below 1 on February 26 for the first time since December. On Thursday, according to the state, 852 people were hospitalized in hospitals across the county, a decrease from 907 the day before. In the middle of January, the number was approaching 5 of those patients, 137 were being treated in intensive care, down from 157 the previous day. The revised health order will still come with caveats. Masking will continue to be required in higher risk settings, including health care facilities, transit centers, airports, aboard public transit, in correctional facilities and at home with shelters and long-term care facilities and they will continue to be strongly recommended, a designation that state officials have said continues to emphasize protection for the most vulnerable to the disease, those with underlying conditions that compromise their immune systems. Also, the indoor requirement remains at schools until after March 11, when the county will align with the state's lifting of the school indoor rule, effective March 12. 